Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing and I'm going to try and talk louder because I've been getting some feedback that I might talk a little too softly, which is not something I've ever heard in my life, but we'll try it. Today I wanted to share with you some happy mail that I actually received from one of my local friends and a Dollar Tree haul. So you saw the video that I posted about the garage sale, which was legendary by the way. I'm gonna make you a video of what my friends got at the garage sale too just so you can see. You will not believe it and you will be disappointed in what I got. But let me show you these. Hillary got a whole bunch of dies at the garage sale and this one was a duplicate. She gave it to me and I thought I could use it for the tops of envelopes or the edges of journal pages. It, it's just gonna make a nice edge on something. It would also be nice across the top of a card as a border just to add a layer for interest. This is a die that I love and it is Hero Arts Hello and it also comes with a stamp Hello. Hello you make me smile. You are my favorite. You brighten my day. Sending you hugs. I love you. I miss you. Thinking of you. Just a note. Beautiful and it has hearts in it. She picked this up I think at the garage sale but already had one, so she sent it my way. And look at this bag of buttons, you guys. I think she already had these buttons and just probably had to make room for all the wonderful stuff at the garage sale that she got, so she's really looking at it. Hillary passed me this giant bag of buttons, and I will probably do some sorting and include some of these in giveaways. There are stars and roller skates and a lot of neat little shapes in here and also some really big buttons that might be great for journal covers or more vintage thing. Looks like there's some leather buttons in there. Super fun stuff. Not the typical bag of buttons that you would get. For cards, it's really nice to have tons of little ones and this bag just has a million little buttons in it. I am so excited, thank you Hillary. I was at the beach on a weekend, oops, on a weekend getaway, and Joanne was having an amazing sale, so I was super, super excited to go to Joanne. 70% off paper, da, da 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 There was almost no paper in that store. There weren't very many six by six, and their six by sixes are retailing for $7.49 now. Do the math, people. It's just not that great. So there wasn't, I, I was looking for a Pebbles one that I got at Joanne before that I was excited to pick up another, but there, were, there weren't any that I had to have. There actually wasn't even anything I was excited to have. But I did see these puffy stickers. These are not the same as the ones they had a little while ago in the bins that were the pearl. So these are the pearl stickers. These are like, mm, I think they're sort of plastic. And these are actual like puffy stickers, you know, like we're in the 80s again, gold and silver. I couldn't decide, so I got them both. I love these. I saw somebody haul these and I was excited. Then I went to the Dollar Tree. It was pretty much across the parking lot and it was kind of the sort of town where I thought a Dollar Tree might be really good, you know, where there's not a lot of other shopping. And I was right, and it was immaculate. It was so organized, so amazing. I put a story on my Instagram because I couldn't believe it. I got a roll of lavender ribbon with a really nice, cute, fringed edge. I don't need any ribbon, but it was too cute. I couldn't not get it. I got a roll of tulle because, believe it or not, I don't have any. I've never been a shaker card person. I picked up some stuff more recently where I thought, okay, I might want to make some shaker cards. So I, I got some of this. It's also really good for making embellishments. Oh, Donna's been making some beautiful different embellishments lately, so you might want to take a look at her channel. Utter Cream, Utterly Smooth. Do you guys use this? It is basic, boring hand lotion. It's great for quilters. It's not greasy. It soaks in fast. It's good for us paper crafters, too. I love it. I got some of the, they call them fastener dots. I call them Velcro dots. I got some of these. I don't really know why, but they were a dollar and I was there. And I thought that I thought that if I wanted to make different types of journals or wrap up things, I might want Velcro. I also have magnets, so it just depends on what project I'm working on. Sequins, you can never have too many. And believe it or not, I don't have very many pinks. So I thought I would try these. If I find that I already have these, I'll put them in a giveaway. Blue gemstones, yes. 
Thank you. Sign me up. I got these. I got two of these because I got one for a giveaway. They are pearls in kind of a nice warm pink color that would go with anything. I thought these would go with spring cards, wedding cards, little girl cards, all kinds of colors. So I got one for each of us. And then this was a funny. I don't know if I bought this or you guys happy mailed it to me, but I already have it. So it's a rebuy for me. And there are 216 in here, so I don't think I need two packages. So I'll probably uh, put that in my giveaway thing too. If you haven't seen the garage sale video, be sure you go back and watch that. It is amazing. And I'll be sharing some more soon. The last thing I wanted to mention was the cards that I'm gathering. If you want to enter the challenge and have your card included in the group that I send to office staff of our local schools, be sure and send it to me before the end of June. No gifts, just a thank you card or a happy summer or a hello. Something appreciative. That, that's all it really needs to be. Send your card in an envelope to my P.O. box listed below my video. Then I'll take it out, show it, readdress it, and send it on. I just need to have it by the end of June. Thanks so much. I hope you had a great weekend. Bye-bye.